Right, number five. Questions five and six are based on the following information. Okay, calculate the market. Defi uh, consider the market, the market defined by the following demand and supply. Okay, so this is economics. You've got price demanded. You've got price supplied. So there's probably going to be equilibrium here where P and Q is the price yeah. and the quantity. The following graphs represent these functions. Okay, so they've drawn the graphs. Okay, there's demand. Demand slopes downwards. Price uh, supply slopes upwards. That's correct. What do they want? Okay, number five. The coordinates of the intercept are. Okay, so in other words, where does it cross? Okay, that's basic uh, simultaneous equations. Okay. All right, so... P so that S, could also be equilibrium, eh? Or? Correct, yeah. PS equals PD, okay. it's point of equilibrium, 100%. That's correct. Okay, okay, you're working out this point there, intercepts, where it crosses. That's what they said, hey? Yeah, the coordinates of the yeah, intercepts. Yes. Is that okay? Yeah, yes. All right. Okay, so price and demand yes. needs to equal. So we're going to have... Uh, okay, I wrote PS first. It doesn't matter which one you put first. I'm just going to write that one first then. 20 plus 0.4Q equals PD. PD is 50 minus, minus 0.6Q. Okay, uh, solve. Take everything to one side. That goes to that side, becomes a plus. I'm going to have 1Q equals 50 minus 20 is 30. So Q equals 30. Right, once I've got Q equals 30, then, then I can just plug them. it into one yeah. of those equations. Okay, so let's use the PS or the PQ. It doesn't matter, actually. Uh, I'll show you both, actually. P, PD. Okay, so um, let me just copy that. Delete. Okay, so the PS is going to equal... 20 plus 0.4 open brackets 30 close brackets equals okay the PD is going to equal copy paste okay this is 30 30 equals okay let's work out the answer 32, this should also be 32. Okay, it should be, there we go. Q is 30, P is 32. All right, so uh, let's see, what, what do we have here? Here, the coordinates of the intercept. Okay, they gave it to you like this. Where's the P and Q? Okay, let's see which is the independent variable and which is the dependent variable. Uh, consider the market. A uh, price for me would be the would be the y axis. Uh, let's just check yeah, here. P is the y axis. Q is the x axis. Do you see that? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So there's the y axis. There's the x axis. So Q is the x axis. So it'll be Q yeah, and then P. And P. Do you see that? Okay. Yes. Okay. So they want it like this. They wanted Q and then they want P there, right? Because of the diagram. Okay, the X and the Y. All right, so I'm going to have to show it like this. Q is 30 and P was 32. All right, so I'm going to then choose option 30 and 32, option 2. Okay, option 2, 30 and 32, it's the same. There we yep. go. Happy that one? Yes, yeah. Okay, good. All right, number 6, what is number 6? At the intercept, okay. So this is the theory question or a, okay, let's see, 30 or 32 units produced to break even at the intercepts, 32 or 32 units. No, that's wrong. It's 30 units. That one's out. Okay. Equilibrium occurs when Q is 30, not 32. That one's wrong. Okay. Equilibrium is reached when 30 units are produced at 32 rand per unit. Equilibrium oh, is reached when correct. 30 units, yes, are produced at 32 yeah. rand per unit. That's also correct. Yeah, so, so far, this one's looking good. Yeah. Consumer surplus is 68 and producer surplus is, is 30. Okay, that we're going to have to work out just to check. All right, I'm going to go with two here, but let's do the working just to make sure. 
Okay, so where's the diagram? Okay, so when I look at the producer surplus and the consumer surplus, okay, there's the demand. Okay, so the area under the graph is going to be your um, your your surplus, but only let me delete this actually. I've draw, I've highlighted too much. Okay, it's only going to be there. That point. Okay, so we know this was Q was thirty, and P was thirty two. Okay, what is the point of intersection here for demand? Uh, P D is fifty, so this would have been fifty. Okay, the the intercept. This one would have been. Uh, this is the PS. This is the oh no, no. yeah, that's the y-axis. Yeah, y-axis. Uh, y equals mx plus c. Okay, so PD. PD is that formula. Okay, it's a negative, so the gradient, and then the Q is the fifth. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay, demand. That's demand. All right, and then obviously supply. Supply is this one. All right, so if supply is that, then we need to put in a supply function. So there's the supply graph. Okay, there's the equilibrium. So the so uh, that's the point. That that's the equilibrium. Okay. Right, let me show you where this comes from. Uh, let me search for it here. Consumer surplus. Here, consumer and producer surplus. Okay, there's the consumer and producer surplus. Do they give you a diagram? Yes, they do. See, there's the diagram. All right, so consumer surplus is looking at the area of that graph, of that. Uh, so from the y axis to the equilibrium. Do you see that? Okay. This little bit here, yep. that area. Is the surplus but right, that's what I'm trying to work out here okay so what I have in blue let me change to blue okay what is the height the height is 50 minus 32 which is 18 18 is the height the base is 30 okay so area okay. of a triangle equals half base times height. Okay, so it's a half base is 30 times height of 18. Okay, so what is that? Let's work it out. Uh, 0.5 times 15 30 times 18. 18 is 270. That's the consumer surplus. Is that an option? Okay. Uh, no, consumer surplus is 68. It's already wrong. Okay, you can see it's wrong. Yeah, it is. All right, that okay. one's wrong. Okay, point elasticity of demand is 8. Okay, let's just check that. Point elasticity of demand is 8. Go to your UNISA... Uh, oh, I can't... This thing is in the way. Um, okay, let me... Window. Let me just go to the... Yeah, I want this. Okay, there. All right, so I want the elasticity of demand. I want that one. Okay, the point elasticity of demand, ED. Okay, what was I given in the question? I was given the P, I was given the Q, what else was I given? That's it, hey? Yeah, that was it. Okay, so I've got P and Q, that's all. So if I'm looking at the point elasticity of demand, okay, uh, I'm going to have to substitute that in. Uh, let's see, I can't use, I can use this one, but then I need the B. Uh, let's just work out the B. I need to double check what the B is for again. Uh, this is point elasticity of demand. Point elasticity. Oh, it's not finding it. Okay, demand. Here, we're looking for a formula for that. Ooh. Uh, elasticity. Am I spelling it correctly? think so. It looks right, eh? Or is it whoever it is? Elasticity. Okay, let's go to the contents page and just find it. Let's just double check what that... It should be down here somewhere. Producer surplus. Uh, there. Prices of demand. That's, That's the one. 
Okay, here's okay. the chair. Uh, prostitute, okay, there's the formulas. There's the one equation which we saw. What is the B? Oh, okay, here's the B. Okay, there's it there. That's what I want. Q equals A minus B P. Okay, so if I look at this formula. Okay, where's my Q? I don't have a Q. I need to make Q the subject. Okay, so let's use B P D equals 50 minus 0 0.6 Q. Okay, then I'll have 0 0.6 Q equals 50 minus P D. Okay, then I divide by 0 0.6. Divide by 0 0.6. All right, so I'm going to have, I'm going to have Q equals 50 over 0 0.6 minus P over 0 0.6. All right, so this would be your B. Okay, your B equals 1 over 0 0.6 as a minus. All right, so I need to put that in. Negative 1 over 0 0.6 is my B. Okay, so... Go back to that formula. Uh, where was it? It was on this page. Okay, so let's write it in. Okay, ED equals 1 divided by, it's a negative, and then B was negative 1 over 0 0.6. Okay, times. Price was 32, quantity was 30. Okay, let's do that on the calculator. Okay, I need my other calculator, the one, the, the scientific. Okay, grab a scientific calculator and plug all of that in. All right, minus one okay. divided by open brackets, negative uh, one over 0.6, close brackets. Okay, times 32 over 30 is 0 0.64 that's the price elasticity of demand okay what did they give you in the question they gave you eight that's wrong okay so it must be two option two is correct it has to yeah. be okay okay all right we might even have to work this out later in other questions but at least we've got we've gone through it so surplus is just the yeah. formula that's all the area under the graph where you have a demand function and you have equilibrium, that's the consumer surplus. Right, the producer surplus is the opposite, it's the supply. All right, let me just show you that while we've got that point. Here, producer surplus, uh, where's the diagram? There's the diagram. See, it's the opposite, it's the area yeah. under the graph, because this is the supply function. Where's the equilibrium? There's the equilibrium. That area is the producer surplus. It's the area where you have the equilibrium point of that triangle. Okay, it's just work out areas of triangles, basically, to summarize what they've given you okay. here. All right, is the theory okay? You're right with that? Yep. Okay, yep. great. All right, let's go back. Six is complete. Option two.